what are robots impact on our very real, very human war of ideas that we're fighting against these radical groups around the world? That is, what is the message we think we are sending when we use these technologies versus what is the message that's actually received in places like the Middle East? And so I went around interviewing people about this, and one um, senior Bush administration official described it this way in terms of our belief. He described how the unmanning of war, and this is his words, plays to our strength. The thing that scares people is our technology. But what about when you go ask those people? And uh, I remember an interview with, um, he's the leading newspaper editor in Lebanon, and he's actually saying this while there's a drone flying above him at the time. And he's saying, you know, actually, no, this shows your cowardice. This shows that you're not man enough to come out and fight us. You send machines instead. And in fact, it shows that all we have to do to defeat you is kill a few of your soldiers. So you have this disconnect between message we think we're sending as we use these technologies versus message being received. Or as um, one analyst put it, the optics of this look really freaking bad. It makes us look like the evil empire from Star Wars and the other side look like the Rebel Alliance. There's another part of this though, is that while the military is the prime mover and shaker in funding these new technologies, they're moving onto the open market and adversaries, the enemy, can free ride off of them. So an interesting example that came out of Iraq is the U.S. military spent literally tens of billions of dollars to put up an array of satellites that created the global positioning system, GPS, that allowed you to pinpoint wherever you were. Insurgents in Iraq were able to target a base using that actually using Google Earth to not only target the base, but to know when they targeted their mortars at it, 